All right, so we finished the the landscape with the grass and everything. So I was going to make the I was going to make the chair, but instead let's make the clothesline. Okay, so this is the clothesline, which is essentially just a freeze frame. Like what I've done is I've simulated the whole thing till about 70 frames, which is essentially that. And then I just picked, I, I use like a time shift and I extracted like frame 70. So, you know, that becomes your, your model. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. Let's see what it does uh, or how to make this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll just take a piece of geometry. We'll call it uh, clothesline and we'll jump in let's hide everything else so i'll take a line and we will point it in the x direction in the center of the grid okay so just take this and right click on the length do copy parameter come to the origin in x and do paste additive reference okay and divide it by minus two okay and then take the length to be about six Okay, so this is going to be, you know, we're going to scale it down later, but for animation purposes, we need it to be bigger. So the first thing is we're going to take, we need two resamples. Like the first one is for the line itself, because it's going to have like a hair simulation, so it can have gravity. And the second is we need to copy like clothes on it. So I'll just take the resample and uh, I'll set this to about uh, 50 points. Okay, so that is good enough. And then I'll take another resample and this will be uh, nine points. Okay, so these, these nine points are where we want the clothes to be. Okay, so let's do one thing first of all. Let's just take a transform and move this up. So in the middle, I'll just come here and I'll just move it up to about, yeah, I think that's okay. So the first thing we want to do with the hair or with the main line itself is uh, we want to take a group by range and we want to pin the ends. Okay, so just take a group by range and we will set this to points. We'll call it ends and start and end, keep them to one. So it will deselect the, you know, the start and end and then do invert range. So this will be your, you know, the ends. So this is fine. Okay, and then you can just, uh, I can take like a, a hair configure so you can take vellum configure hair and just drop it in and then take say pin to animation and keep this to ends okay and that's basically it okay now with this guy I want to do something slightly different so firstly we again we want to take a group by range so we don't want to copy anything to the ends we only want to copy something copy the stuff in the middle so again we'll just do points we'll call it mid and okay now let's take a grid so this will be my this will be my my piece of cloth and we'll set this to x and y which is good and we can probably just rotate it around 180 okay and what i want to do is i want it below ground okay so that it sticks to you know the top of the line so what we can do is i'll just take the the length in the y axis so right click copy parameter and in the y axis we'll do paste relative reference and divide it by minus two so it'll go down and then this should be small so i'll just make it one by one uh let's do one thing let's just manually adjust this. so i'll take this and i can just you know make it slightly smaller yeah i think this is okay and we can give it a few more segments now the one thing I want to do, this we won't change later okay? because we're going to manually select this. So press 2, I'll select like these two points and these two points and create a group out of these and we'll call them pins. So these two will be sort of like, you know, pinned to the clothesline. Okay, so this is fine. Now the next thing is we want to copy it to this. So I can just take a copy to points and I will set this to mid and I'll copy this yeah so this is okay except this is too long or actually they're too wide 
Okay, so just take this and we can squash it a little bit. Yeah, and then just sort of scale it down a little bit like that. Okay, so this is good. Uh, let's also do one thing. I'll take a transform and move it slight, like offset it slightly because I don't think it, they should intersect. Okay, so this is this is fine. Okay, now one thing that we can do is in order to sort of give it a little bit of variation, I can I can do two things like I want to generate some random coloring on this. So let's take a wrangle and I'll create a float value. So we'll call it F at, you know, say R is equal to random at etnum. And this will go to at CD is equal to at R. So you'll get like black and white values. So we can like after the simulation, we'll recolor it. So you don't want to do it pre simulation because every time you make a change, the simulation will have to recalculate because it's color change is also treated as a geometry change because it's happening at point level. So the best thing is you generate grayscale values and then either you can do it here or it's just an attribute color. So you can just do it at shader level. So you don't have to worry about that either. So either ways is fine. Okay, so this is one and then let's take another angle and what I want to do, uh, sorry, not a wrangle. Let's take a randomize. So we'll take an attribute randomize and what I want to do is I want to randomize the scale of this and we don't want to randomize. So the X values will remain more or less the same size. So 0 0.9 to one and then the Y will be like, you know, slightly longer and shorter like that. So there you go. So you can sort of like, you know, modify the width and length of the, of the clothes. Okay. So this is good. We are basic, the basic setup is done. So now uh, let's just configure this. So we'll just take cloth and we will say vellum configure cloth. Yeah. So this is fine. Now we need to merge everything together because we need to glue the, because we need to glue the pins to the, the clothes line. Okay. So, the one thing I want to change is I want to come into the resample. I'll make this about 45. I calculated it before. So the points need to be close to like those points. So it's easier to connect. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to take two merge nodes and then you want to merge the, this is the geometry output. That's the constraint output. So we need to merge both. Okay. So we'll merge this and that. And then we want to merge this and that. So this is fine. And then take a glue. Okay. So take a vellum glue. And so the geometry comes in here and the constraint geometry comes in there. So you should technically be able to see this and you start gluing everything, which isn't what we want. So what we want to do is, uh, firstly, we want to generate a group here to define what goes into the glue. So just take a group. And, you know, we're grouping the line, the whole line. So just call it line. So here in the primitives, we will say line. So see, so it's only connecting those. And then we don't want to pin everything. We just want to pin like the middle stuff. So we'll take, we'll set this to points and we'll pick up, uh, well, not that. Hold on a second. Yeah, my pins is there. Uh, Okay, do I need to manually type it in? Let's try to type it in. Yeah, okay, there you go. So it's not like it, it wasn't showing it, so just manually type it. Okay, and then you can just increase the search distance a little bit. Uh, sorry, maximum search distance. So it sort of just pins everything. Yeah, it's not going to be the best thing ever, but it will pin most of it, which is good. Okay, so this is fine. Yeah, I don't want, you don't want the search distance to go too far. But this is okay. Yeah, most of them will get two, which is good. Okay, so this is fine. I think most of it is done. Now I can just take a solver and hopefully everything works fine. So we can just take a vellum solver. Let me save this file and we'll plug in everything. Now, the one thing I want to do is I want to sort of lower the gravity a bit because it's going to be a little heavy. So we're going to make it about minus four. And I also want to give it a little bit of drag. 
and a little bit of velocity damping. Okay, so let's just do a basic test and see what we're getting. Hopefully everything should work. Yeah, there you go. So this is fine. The one thing you want to do is you want to sort of adjust the, the hair or the clothesline basically. So you want to come into vellum hair and you want to increase the density. Okay, so let's make the density about uh, 35. And let's just check this. See, so it doesn't fall down as much, which is good. See, so now it's like a little more stable. This is perfect. Okay, and then what you want to do is we also want to come in here and I want to give it some wind. Okay, so in the Z direction, I want to take a pop force and we will give it some wind. So the gravity is minus four. So let's give it a wind of about six and then some noise amplitude. And so if you press play, see we should get a little bit like that. So at whatever frame it looks okay is where we can see, there you go. See that looks nice, okay. which is roughly what we want. So at around frame like 70, 75 is where it is looking nice. And that's pretty much it. You know, so now what I can do is I can just take a time shift and I can freeze this. So I'll just delete everything here. So it says frame 73. So you're basically freezing to frame 73. And then I can take uh, a blast. The group should hopefully be still there, the line group, because I want to give the line some thickness. So we'll just pick up the line. So these are my clothes. And then I can just do a control C, control V. And this will be, uh, sorry, delete non-selected. Okay. And then I want to do one more thing, which is I want to take a line and I want to copy it to those two points. So hopefully the group is there. Yeah, the ends group is still there, which is fine. So I can just take a copy to points and plug this in and do uh, ends. There you go. And the reason why they've become very small is because this probably has a width or a P scale. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's there somewhere. There you go, it has P scale. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take a delete. So take an attribute delete. I think you can just delete everything. So just delete everything. Because we're not doing an animation. So, so there you go. See, the minute we deleted it, it's fine. Yeah, so just delete everything. We can do the same thing here, except we want to keep the color. Yeah, so what you want to do is just come into point attributes, do uptick CD. So the color will remain. Okay, so we have this, uh, except it should be uh, in the middle or uh, let's do one, let's just manually do this. So I'll just take like a transform here and yeah, let's just, yeah, so let's just put this there and we'll increase the length. Yeah, actually let's do one thing. Let's take a transform and move the whole thing up anyways, because it needs to go up. Yeah, I think this is fine. And then I can just take this and adjust it. And yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is all good. And then I can just uh, take a sweep and you know, Keep this to round tube, there you go, and then make it thinner, yeah, and then the same thing here, so control C, control V, and make them slightly thicker, and do like grid as end cap, so you'll get like a capsule kind of a thing. This probably needs to go thinner still, okay, and then just merge everything together. So one, two, and... And yeah, there we go. And then what I can do is I can come up. So now this isn't animated, so you don't need to worry about it, you know. So I think we need to scale it down. It's really big. Hold on a second. Where is it? Okay, yeah. It wasn't showing up for some reason. 
to something really tiny and then we'll just move it in. Yeah, so just move it there and rotate it. Yeah, there you go. I think we'll have to re we'll have to make the grass a little smaller. The grass is quite big. So we might have to come into the terrain. Let's do like ghost other objects. And the line. Let's go to 0 0.05. Yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, this is fine. And then maybe we'll have to up the scatter amount. So let's take the scatter amount. Let's do one thing. Let's turn off the relax iterations. Yeah, it'll go faster. And then just make it 200,000. Yeah, there we go. This is fine. Yeah, so that's it. So this is how we can make the clothesline. Okay, so in the next lesson, we'll make uh, the chair. Yeah, this one. So we'll make the chair in the next video.